Hello everyone and good morning. It is November 4th, so I guess that means happy day 4 of NaNoWriMo. Yesterday was obviously the presidential election and I just was in not the right headspace to be vlogging and you know, that's okay. <laughs> Um, I think if there's any day that I can take a break, it would be that day. I think I'm going to be doing a live write-in tonight, actually, though, in place of a vlog. And I'm going to get on a Zoom call with Kiara and maybe Sarah. And we're just going to do a fun little live write-in um, for anyone to join if they would like to do that. So, no day three video, but a day three live write-in. Today, just as tumultuous as yesterday, I, I guess, because the election results have not been confirmed or anything like that and so still anxiously awaiting that to happen but in the meantime I am going to just keep writing and I think today I'm going to be doing some coloring because I have switched my book to one that involves a coloring book and so I'm just going to color a little bit to get my nerves under control and call it research so that's the plan so crazy times but i'm going to keep trucking along and take y'all with me all right this is the current setup i love these coloring books i think they're these are the ones by joanna bassford and i think that they are the best fun adult coloring books that aren't just like mandalas and all of that and this you may recognize is my nano candle it's the candle that i chose to write with for my story and i am going to have it lit while i do some coloring right next to the election projections and i've got my coffee and this is the little setup that i have going All right, while I was coloring, I actually was very inspired to write a little bit. So I'm going to take advantage of that inspiration because that does not come often. And I am going to quickly sit down and get my ideas out. Ah, that'll do. I feel like I am, <laughs> I'm struggling so much with figuring out what I want to write and I really think I am just gonna stick with this coloring book idea but then last night I was having all these ideas for my other story idea that I've had started not the revival we're we're done with the revival for right now but so this idea that I just came up with I'm not actually going to write in the manuscript I'm going to write it in one of my notes folders that's just potential scenes so it may be included it may not be included in the final draft but it's a place where i can kind of just jot down my scene idea so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now there is a small part of me that is wondering if maybe my struggle is with NaNo as a whole. I've talked about how I feel like every year that I've participated, I get really excited in the lead up and then it finally hits November and I have no motivation. And it feels very similar to like when you're going to clean your room and then your parent asks you to clean your room and you suddenly don't want to do it anymore you have zero desire to do it because you were told that you need to do it um i don't know if that analogy makes sense but it feels a little bit like nano is my parent and they're telling me to write and so i suddenly don't want to do it anymore which i definitely have that defiant personality and so that checks if that is the case but I don't know i feel like right now i'm just in a little bit of a slump I know a huge part of why I feel this way is probably because I am just very distracted thinking about the election. I don't have the brain power to really concentrate on two things at once and I'm having a very hard time letting my mind kind of forget about what's going on in our country. So 
because that is my main focus right now, I just don't think I have any energy or thought that I can really put into my book at this moment. So I don't want to force myself too much to focus on something that I know um, I just simply can't focus on right now. I do have the little write-in that I'm doing tonight which should be about an hour long and so and that will already be up by the time you're watching this but I'm kind of thinking if that's an hour we're probably going to do a few sets of word sprints so I'm going to get a really good bit of writing done then. Also if you write on Scrivener and you want an easy way to check how much you've written on any given day if you go to project up on the top bar of your computer and you click on writing history you can click show history in words and it gives you all the information if you didn't know already um, I think it's the best way to kind of see how much you've written It'll tell you how much you've written in your draft as well as in your notes section. Today I've written 232 words. I just wrote down a little bit right now. That is all that I did. It's nothing crazy. But, you know, I'm, I'm proud that I at least, you know, I was coloring, I got an idea, and I stopped coloring, got up, came to jot it down, and I feel good about that. That's a little win for myself because, um... That takes a lot for, for me right now with my mind so focused on the election. So that is the little um, check-in for right now. It's only 2.45 in the afternoon. That's what's going on. I think I'm going to uh, get back to coloring for a little bit. I, jot I jotted down my idea, so we'll see if anything else comes from that. I'm really excited that... I did get an idea from the coloring and all of that. I think uh, it easily could have just turned into me coloring for an hour and not getting anything out of that, but I'm really glad that I did get some kind of a spark of inspiration from doing that. So good to know that it's at least serving a purpose throughout all of this. I might bring my computer and have it right next to me on the coffee table as I color so I can kind of switch back and forth. I also think today I'm going to sit down with my manuscript, All That's Forgotten, and go through some more edits so that way I can get that back to my lovely editor. Um, and that'll be a nice little way to take my mind off of the election, focus back on writing and work and all of that. So that's the plan, Stan. I'll check in in a bit. The update is that Monica, my roommate Monica, hello, hi, um, had a package delivered to her parents' house today, and she would like to retrieve that package right today, now. <laughs> right now. And so I am going with her to her parents' house. Should take us like about an hour to get there. Um, and so I've brought my computer. There, you can see that. I've brought my computer so I can work on edits and everything in the car with Baby Yoda. And yeah, that is that is the little update. Um, we should be back in time for my live write-in happening tonight. And that'll be that. But this is a fun little adventure. So, yeah. Please turn it on. I don't know what sound thing it's on. I don't want to turn blasting the music. Oh, you got it. Just, just, just for a second. It's not going. Why I'm not? pressing the button. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do it inside. Press, do it inside press and hold. Press and hold. See? It's doing the thing. I'm scared. <laughs> it won't turn on. It's just the sound. <laughs> if you were curious as to what we had to go pick up from Monica's parents' house. It was that lightsaber. Uh, I'll show you more inside if you care. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> we just got back from Monica's and it is right in the nick of time because I need to be logging on to do the live on YouTube. Uh, I did pick up vlogging today, so this is the little setup. 
I just finished the live stream a bit ago and I had some dinner and I had so much fun on the live stream. We did a bunch of word sprints and we had a little group going and it was so nice and so fun to write with other people and chat with other people and I really enjoyed it. So if you were watching the live stream, thank you so much. That was so great. I think we're going to plan on doing more I'm thinking like one a week so this was the one that we did for week one and then maybe we'll do another next week but I had such a great time it was a great way to kind of disconnect so so much fun we are at the desk you know what time it is time for a debrief today was I think a lot better than yesterday I didn't write anything yesterday I didn't vlog yesterday for obvious reasons I was just taking a little break which is perfectly okay but today I jumped back into it I really did not do a ton of writing today um, until I did a little live on my YouTube channel. It was my very first time doing anything like that and it was so fun. The group of people that stuck with me and did word sprints with me. Hello guys. That was so much fun. I think we are going to turn that into a weekly thing because it was just too much fun. Um, and it was a great way to get some writing done and honestly if I hadn't done that then I probably would have walked away today without any words written at all. So it was a great way to really pump up my motivation and I loved it. I changed the story that I'm writing. You all know the deal with that. Um, and I'm just having a lot more fun, to be honest. I'm sitting down to write and I'm really enjoying myself and I don't feel pressure. It's all just in good fun and that's what this is supposed to be and so I'm having a really great time. Today I also did a ton of work, I mean it doesn't count towards nano, but I did a ton of work um, going through my manuscript for my book All That's Forgotten. I'm going to try and get that back to my editor tomorrow, so I just did a bunch of work for that and that was also really great. I feel like I'm in a much better place. Obviously election stuff is still really tumultuous and scary right now, but we're pushing through life goes on, nano goes on, so I'm just glad that I was able to get words on the page today. So much fun doing those sprints. Today in the live, which I think you can watch, I think you can watch the live. If you missed it, then you can go ahead and um, find it on my channel, but I talked about how I had a breakthrough in one of my um, sprints. It was like a 15 minute sprint and I totally had a breakthrough, so it was really great. I really enjoyed myself and now I'm excited to get up and do some writing tomorrow. So that's where I'm at. Please let me know how you're doing. Comment below. Let me know what the vibe is. Um, how much writing have you done? Where you're at total wise? Uh, if you're on track, not on track. If you need motivation. If you're doing okay. I want to hear it all. So let me know. If you enjoyed this video then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you would like to follow along with me on this nano journey then you can go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. I am vlogging and posting every day in the month of November so it's like vlogmas but for writers. <laughs> As always thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Now go write something.